Hey, uh, hey, you know, I just jumped right into it. Look, let's just talk about it. So, um, well, I have a friend who is my friend, like on some real shit, like, my, this is my motherfucker, this is my motherfucker, for real. And we have something in common. We both like to ride the bike. Now, when, when we get together, we ride. We link up more early in the morning. I come back at home. It's dark. You know what I'm saying? That's how we get down. And we get to the end. I love right now. And he always taking me to some beautiful place. Like, always, always. <clears throat> but however, I'm going to keep it all the way 100. He do. He have talked that shit like, yo, we should get together. Yo, but what if I hit the lottery? Would you be? I, no. That's, that would be my, No. Because I don't like you like that. No. And my, he's the most loving person, kind, all that shit. Like, he all that. But no, I don't like you like that. Uh, no. Uh-uh. So, so, so that's that, and I would shoot that down. And also, let me also keep it on the buck. God damn it. Because he's my friend. <laughs> one time, we rode to, to, one, of, to one of his friends, um, cookout that they was having in Queens near motherfucking LaGuardia. I lived deep in the Bronx at the time and he was lived I don't know what part of Brooklyn he lives in. But anyway, we linked up wherever the fuck we linked up in Manhattan some fucking way. And we were yo, that was a, the most, yo, that ride was just insane. Do you understand what it was? And it was hot. Like it was like 90 something fucking degree. But I love the ride when it's hot like that. So we roll, whatever, we go there, we have a good motherfucking time, we eat good, because you know the people, is, is, they was from, I don't know, um, from Trinidad, we fucking ate good, we drank good, it was just good, 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 good vibes, good shit, right? So, like, I'm fucked up, we ride, then we, um, he catch me out there, I don't even know, like I was fucked up, he just pushed me back and he ate my pussy, right? But he didn't, my pants, I didn't pull my pants down, I had on like those shorts that has the, the panties connected to it. So he licked through that, which I thought was also disgusting because I'm just saying because I know my pussy was stinking because we just rode. We've been riding all motherfucking day. I don't even know how many miles that is, motherfucker. It's a lot of yeah. So, but anyway, so he that did happen, and nothing ever like. With, and every time he bring that shit up, I was like, look, motherfucker, you caught me out there. I was drunk. You know what I'm saying? That's all that shit was. Like, no, no, uh, uh, no. I know I wasn't going to let you fuck me, but but who, I don't know, But because I was drunk. But look, that didn't happen. He just did that. And thank God, like, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, but still, that's just my man. So now he's married. Hadn't talked to him, whatever. So then he called me out the blue one day, just recent. And was like, yo, what you, when he, when he, when he, I saw his number, I'm like, yo, what the fuck you want, right? Because he be, he be on some bullshit. Me and him and had linked up like three times. We was going to go ride our bike, right? And he stood me up each time. I was like, all right. So I called, I was like, yo, what the fuck you want? When, he, when I answered the phone, he was like, yo, where you at? Whatever. I told him where I was. Yo, I'm going to come get you. Oh, we got a car. Him and his wife got a car. I'm like, where, where your wife at? He was like, she out of town, whatever the fuck. Oh, okay, cool. He come, he come pick me up, whatever, man, ride through. We having a good time. We laughing like we always do. We having a good time. That's it. You know, he telling you about his wife and all that other shit. I'm letting him see. Because, you know, of course, everybody going to complain to you about whatever the fuck is going on in their life, you know. So he's telling me, you know, she don't do this, she don't do that. Oh, boy, fucking shut the fuck up. You decide to be with her. You decide to make her your wife. She's your wife now. Shut the fuck up. You knew that shit when you was married. If you didn't know that shit when you was married, then that's your motherfucking fault because you should have did some motherfucking research and a goddamn background check on the bitch. So now you stuck with her, and I don't want to hear shit. Like, come on, you a whole grown-ass man. It's not like you a little young, um, little young motherfucker just got your dick wet type shit. Like, so knock it off. But the fuck, the, the my... The fucked up part about it is that, <clears throat> and guess, and then I also had to I had him think about this, right? I said, so what if? Because he was like, yo, she be tripping, whatever. Whenever I'm talking to you, I want to chill with you, whatever. So uh, I said, okay, let's put on the shoe on the other foot. Say if your girl had a guy friend that you know they cool with, they had something in common, they like to run or whatever the fuck, and they did that together as friends. Would you be tripping off that? And he was like, yeah, I would be. So, okay, so then you should understand that. Now, me thinking, I'm like, I don't know, there gotta be some type of trust at some fucking point. And when you're in a relationship, you know what I'm saying? Now, who, whatever type of shit that you had with somebody, uh, if, if, 
you and your friend, if something was that, that had happened that was sexual in nature between you two, and it just happened because y'all was drunk or whatever the fuck, it was just some shit could just happen, you know, because we are sexual beings. Um, that don't mean that you tell your spouse that shit. You definitely don't do that. Because that's definitely going to, you know, he going to be like, or she'll be like, nah, definitely, nah, nah, definitely, nah, nah, nah. But if you know in the back of your mind, like, nothing, like, for real, this is my motherfucker, like, that, that's something that did happen, but this is my motherfucking friend or some real shit, like, we're friends. And then especially once you introduce, see, this is, this is where shit can get crazy, and I'm, I'm not that type of bitch, like, I don't, like, if I meet somebody, uh, I met my friend's spouse or whatever, like, I'm not the type of bitch you try to fuck your man, like, I ain't, Nah, I don't, I don't get down like that. That's fucked up. Like, you use a real scumbag bitch like, to do some shit like that. When I say bitch, I mean man or female, whoever do it. Right? Because uh, most bitches are motherfucking men. Let's just keep it all the way 1,000. So, uh, like, I definitely wouldn't do no shit like that. But it's fucked up that when you get in a relationship, how you have to cut ties with people of the opposite sex who's just your friend. Well, yeah. And he know that. You know what I'm saying? He realized that now. Like, nah. We, I would never, like, but he know that. But it's fucked up that it has to be like that, because you can't be friends with your friend because they got married now. It, yo, but I want to I wanna shout out somebody that I was in a relationship with, and they knew, like, you know, people would come, Yo, it's a dude. Like, yo, go chill with your friends. Like, I like that. See, that's also let you, like, you you secure within your relationship with, with, with your partner. Like, you know I want to know no bullshit. Like, I ain't that type of bitch. Like, I ain't going to say, tell my man I'm going to chill with somebody, like another dude. You know what I'm saying? That I'm fucking, and I'm telling him, letting him know where I'm at. So you have, so you have to have trust in your relationship. I'm some real shit. But what do y'all think about that? And have you been in a relationship, in a situation like that, that you were friends with somebody of the opposite sex, and then your friend gets becomes married or get in a relationship, and now y'all not can no longer hang out with each other. But then again, people, you also have to know, like you have to have some trust, and also know this too: Do you trust somebody one hundred percent? Ain't nobody really one hundred percent trustworthy. Like, come on now, like, come on, come on, come on. Like, I'm just saying. That's why you have to know people. Once you know somebody, you'll know how, you know, how they get down. What are y'all thoughts? I know it's your girl, Real, um, the seductress, the intimacy coach I created, and um, the founder of Seductive Art. My website is coming soon. Shut the fuck up. I know I've been saying that <laughs> soon for such a long time. Y'all leave me alone. I'm dealing with a lot of shit. Um... That's coming, and uh, yeah, subscribe. You already know. If I vibe with you, you already know what to do. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all have a great one until we meet again. And also, don't forget, y'all know I'm a designer. The name of my brand is Real Nice. Go to my website, uh, realnice.com. That's R-I-L-L, nice.com. Uh, if my fashion resonate with you, you know what I'm saying, purchase, I would appreciate that. Keep me growing, keep me strong um, in this business. Uh, and also, I also offer image consulting. Like, if you have an event you want to get ready for, if you want to just straight change up your look, I, I offer 30 minutes free. You got to go to my website, sign up, and the subject put style now. Someone will get back to you, and we'll get it popping, and all that. Okay, so I'd say thank you so much. You guys have a great day. I'll talk to you guys. Peace.